My name is Jerry Kirkpatrick, and I'm teaching the fundamentals of metal shaping. I found myself uh, using this tool quite extensively over the past few weeks. I've been making uh, a bunch of plantum chambers and fuel splash guards for the 1965 independent rear end uh, Mustangs that the original Venice crew are making. While making these parts, I've used just a regular number two pencil for doing a bunch of layout, a silver pencil for marking on hot rolled material, a scribe for laying out the material so I know where the cuts will be, and an X-Acto knife for making the patterns with which to make these parts. So if you'd like to make one of these tools, all you'll need is a piece of 5 8 square bar stock, 18 gauge is what I used, cut to whatever length you think you might need, a flanged nut, quarter 20, a quarter 20 thumb screw, and drill a hole of 11 30 seconds. The only thing you'll need to buy other than the quarter 20 flange nut and thumb screw is a Stanley number no. four trammel point set. Back in the 80s, uh, I made one of these pieces five feet long for laying out fireplace screens, entry gates, uh, garden gates, driveway gates, and I used it extensively with soapstone just to lay out these pieces on my shop floor. So if you'd like to make one of these, watch the video and I'll take you through it step by step. What I have here is a piece of 5-8 square tubing, 18 gauge, and the only thing we have to do to this is lay out the hole for uh, whatever implement you want to be putting in it. So. We'll put on a little dicum and wait for that to dry, which shouldn't take very long. Okay, now that the dicum has dried, we're going to mark from one side 5 sixteenths and from the end 1 quarter of an inch. and then center punch and now we'll go drill an 11 30 second hole which is the largest diameter so my exacto uh, knife will fit in it cleaned the uh, coating off of the nut and cleaned it up with a wire brush and wiped the tube down. I uh, got the dicum off of it with some lacquer thinner. It's time to attach the nut to the end of the square tubing and for that I'm just going to use some Romex uh, electrical wire. We'll just tack it on the four sides and then fill the uh, voids where the square meets the round.
and I've got it fairly well attached. I'm just going to fill the voids where the uh, where the holes are. Now I'm just going to take the torch and run it around there real quick. Yeah, there's one little drop right, right there. Now I'll just smooth that whole thing out. One more little drop right there. There you go. Now the nut is attached to the square. So here we have the finished product. Uh, nothing more than a 5 8 square tube, hole drilled in it, a uh, flange nut brazed on, and I've already installed the thumb screw. So what we need is the uh, trammel by Stanley. Put that up close to the hole and we can get the depth of the pencil set. Place the trammel where you want to start. Set your pencil on a line, tighten up. There's your pencil for layout. Here's a silver pencil for marking on hot rolled material. Let me get that. Set your trammel in place. Come out to the mark. There's for marking on hot rolled material. You want to cut out a pattern, set your X-Acto knife in there, you want to get your blade set up so it's not trailing, get your tremel in place. Come out to your mark, tighten up the trammel, and there you have your pattern cut out. Next thing you want to do is for marking your sheet metal. We'll put the scribe in there. Now that we have the scribe installed, put the trammel in place. Get your scribe set to the right depth.
And there you have the piece scribed for cutting. So there you have how to make one of these tools. Feel free to leave any suggestions or comments below the description. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.